and Rick Spielman is here to break this one down. Rick, you know, it's it's the revenge game for Russell Wilson, but it's a lot more than that. What else goes into this game? Yeah, you, you have to. Russell has going to have to stay calm tonight because his anxiety level and everything is going to be at a sky high mm-hmm. uh, level. But he has to understand this is his first impression that people are going to get of him being in a Denver Bronco uniform. So he wants to justify all the draft capital that was uh, given to go get him, uh, the new contract with the new ownership. And the cherry on top of this whole thing is that he gets to go do all this in his first impression uh, when he goes to Seattle and plays his former team. Two first round picks the Seahawks got, two second round picks, and a fifth round pick for Russell Wilson. Now, first time head coaches were 4-0 and on Sunday. If they're going to finish off a perfect week one, it'll be a job for Nathaniel Hackett, presented by Jiffy Lube. Hackett looking to do what Mike McDaniel, Dennis Allen, Matt Eberflus, and Kevin O'Connell did, and that is win in week one with a new team. Now, he is the favorite in this game, coming over from Green Bay. He was the offensive coordinator there. What do you expect for him in this game. Just to correct, though we can't forget about I know Allen's coached before. Yeah, and, and what Dabble did yesterday for the Giants to go Absolutely. win in, in the Tennessee. In his but, first one. Yeah, but Hackett is going to call the plays tonight. First time since 2018, I believe he's going to actually be the play caller again. I think the other thing you have to look at, he has a very talented defense. He has a lot of weapons at receiver position on offense, and he has two excellent running backs. So he's going to have to also, just like we talked about Russell Wilson earlier, taper down the enthusiasm, the excitement, and get into a play call, something similar to what we saw in O'Connell in Minnesota yesterday, where it's a blend of run and pass. You just can't go all pass, and the run's going to set up the play action pass for him. So it's all about the quarterback these days in the NFL. That's why we're so high on the Denver Broncos, not just because the new head coach, Nathaniel Hackett, and what he did at Green Bay, but Russell Wilson coming over. On the other side, a lot of the focus is on Geno Smith because he's the starter for Seattle, but you're looking elsewhere for this Seattle team and focusing on the guys up front. Why is the offensive line even more important for this team moving forward? Well, they have two rookie offensive tackles, and both of them, when you watch them in the preseason, look like they're going to be the bookends for a long time for Seattle. But they're going to get tested tonight when Chubb comes off one side and uh, Gregory comes off the other side. So that'll be a key for Seattle as far as as they progress and as they rebuild. I don't think Geno Smith's the quarterback they want to rebuild with, Mm -hmm. but I do think they have some young, talented rookies, and John Schneider did a great job with his draft class that you'll see that will contribute tonight. But I don't think Geno Geno Smith is the guy you're going to build this franchise on and rebuild going forward. And next year in the draft, they figure to have a bunch of picks and good positioning as well. So they are going to have their shot at one of those top quarterbacks coming out of college. This is going to be a really good year for college quarterbacks, unlike this past one. Give me three keys for a Seattle upset tonight. One, Geno Smith. He has to stay. (laughs) He's got to be a game manager, Mm -hmm. and he has to get the ball to the playmaker's hands. And that's uh, Metcalf, that's uh, uh, Tyler Lockett. Uh, And and they had two good running backs. Now, I don't know if the rookie Kenneth Walker is going to play tonight or not, but uh, they're going to have to run the ball, control the clock, and Geno Smith just has to be a game manager. That's one. They're going to have to establish the run. And that's going to be physical up front because I think one of the weaknesses in the Denver defensive uh, side of the ball is their run defense, and they're going to have to respond to that. And the last thing is what we mentioned earlier is Chubb and Gregory against those rookie tackles. The Broncos are the favorites in this game, almost a full touchdown on the road. What are going to be the keys for them to avoid the upset? Well, that's easy. It's going to be Russell Wilson, (laughs) and it's going to be him. Staying, he's, he doesn't have to put on his Superman cape. Mm-hmm. All he has to do is go and run this offense. And he's got two very good running backs. He's got good receivers. And he has to stay in command of the offense and not get hyped up and all caught up in all the emotion. The other thing is Nathaniel Hackett. He has to have a balance of run and pass play calls this year. And the third is going to be can uh, Denver's secondary with Sertan uh, with two great safeties uh, control the downfield 
passing game with DJ, DJ Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. And I think if they do those three things, they should win the game. So the Broncos favored by six and a half points. The total is 44. What's your pick for tonight, Rick? Oh, I, I, and I listened to Pete earlier. I think he's totally wrong. I think it'll be <laughs> close early. I think in the second half that Denver's going to take the 12th man out of this game. Mm-hmm and Denver will pull away and, and cover the spread and beat them by more than that spread. Denver minus six and a half, the pick from Rick Spielman. What do you think, first uh, Sunday in a long while watching the games from afar? A little different. Uh-huh. Uh, a lot of, lot of opinions up there by a lot of <laughs> fantasy football people. Yeah. <laughs> but it was interesting, interesting to watch all the games, and I really enjoyed it. And Rick Spielman with us here uh, on CBS Sports HQ. Going to be with us every Sunday, Monday throughout the season and throughout the week as we roll through it here in the NFL. Let's look at our preview show for tonight. We've got like 15 different guests coming on, getting you ready for kickoff, our first Monday night football game of the season, including best bets from the Wizard of Odds, Kenny White, Todd Furman, gonna bet the board, and Pete Frisco as well, Brady Quinn, Danny Cannell, BMAC, many, many more, including our fantasy football crew as well. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.